The wages of cleaners in Singapore are set to rise. Monthly salaries will increase by at least $170 starting in 2023 and will go up for six years in a row. Industry players say cleaning services could become more expensive as a result. But as Brandon Tonoto reports, there are methods to maintain costs. The changes mean a general cleaner will earn 60% more in seven years. The higher paycheck will eat into employers' operational costs. Stakeholders suggest that firms will have to review the way they order cleaning services. Service buyers, uh, if you have always been uh, using a headcount contract, with this uh, potential wage increase, it will certainly force the cleaning companies to price in the wage increase. That is why we have always uh, encouraged all service buyers to seriously consider outcome-based contract and also invest together both with uh, the service uh, providers, technologies that uh, can improve productivity. Uh, we also think that uh, short-term contracts will not encourage this behaviour. Meanwhile, the Tripartite Committee on the Cleaning Wage Ladder also notes that the higher wages won't cause cleaning firms to turn to more foreign workers who are not covered under the model. We do not think uh, that it will lead to a situation where there will be greater reliance on foreign workers uh, because this industry is actually managed by a quota system, a dependency uh, ratio. So the number of uh, uh, foreign workers that any company uh, can employ will then be decided uh, by what is the prevailing uh, dependency uh, uh, ratio. The committee has also called for the government to provide some form of transitional wage support to aid firms in navigating the changes. This can help in situations where cleaning firms' existing contract prices cannot be renegotiated with their service buyers. The salary increases will, of course, uh, increase the cost burden on cleaning companies. But, uh, that is why we, we are asking for a two-year runway to 2023 uh, before these salaries kick in so that we have time to uh, price our future tenders correctly. And also, uh, if the contracts are long-term stretching beyond 2023, then we have time to negotiate with our service buyers to see how we can reach uh, a, a a mutually agreeable solution you know, to, to, uh, to fund the increase in the salaries. The Manpower Ministry says it will do its part to support the transition alongside employers, service buyers and consumers.